Welcome back, fellow reefers, to another Pittsburgh Reef Junkie video. My name is Sean, and this is where we take reefing one day at a time. We continue on with fish number four in our aquarium build, the hippo tang, also known as the blue tang or the regal tang. But many know this fish as dory. If you're looking to get a hippo tang, but don't know the needs of this fish, we will talk about all of that today. We will go through the aquarium size, what you need to feed them, and why most should not keep this tang. Let me know in the comments below if you also have a hippo tang or you're wanting to get one in your reef tank. Hippo tangs or regal tangs are known to populate many places, ranging from the Indo-Pacific, the Great Barrier Reef, Samoa, East Africa, and Sri Lanka. Hippo tangs are a really different fish with their traits. The hippo tang are an easy to moderate care fish in my opinion. We have never had an issue keeping them as long as you acquire one that is not sick to begin with. Regal tangs are a beautiful fish with their deep blue coloration and yellow tail. Also with noticeable black markings on their sides which really look like they were painted on. A truly beautiful fish. You will find a variation of regal tang that is a yellow belly. These types come from the West Central Indian Ocean. Regal tangs live in pairs, but honestly, I have only always kept one. I've always been curious to see if a second one would improve the well-being of keeping them. Unfortunately, many have succumbed to death when the movie Finding Nemo came out. Tons of children wanted their own dory and parents were lining up to buy them. Most with not a clue about keeping marine fish acting like regal tanks were goldfish type of pets for their kids. So without taking this the wrong way, as humans, we would destroy everything on this earth if left to our own devices. So honestly, I'm happy that fact of keeping fish from finding Nemo has gone away. So starting roughly around $100 or more, depending how big the fish is, I would not recommend a regal tank as your first saltwater fish if you are a beginner. Get some time under your belt and really research. Do your due diligence. That brings us to the size aquarium you will need to keep these guys happy. Most regal tangs, when bought, are usually one to two inches. That being said, you could get away with a 70 gallon aquarium to keep them as juveniles. I personally think a 180 gallon aquarium should be the minimum size to keep them. Regal tangs reach lengths of 12 inches these fish get huge. It does not seem that regal tangs are aggressive. We've never, in the years of keeping saltwater fish, seen a regal tang chase or bully another tang or fish. The main issue with this tang in smaller aquariums is the fact that they don't stop moving. They're non-stop swimmers. They need lots of open space. And I mean a lot. Big mounds of rock work make it tough to do that. So keep in mind if you plan to get one when you're creating your rockscape. On the flip side, many think the regal tang is dead or stuck in rock work. Yes, this happened to me as well when I first had one. They sleep and also when scared, they will lay sideways in your rock work. It's neat to see, but don't panic. Regal tangs feed on plankton as well as algae. That is their main diet. You can achieve great results by giving your tang dry seaweed, also known as nori. We use ocean nutrition for all of our tangs. You will need an algae clip to keep it secure inside your aquarium. In between mealtime, you will find them grazing all the time on your rock work inside your aquarium. This makes them a really nice working fish to keep algae growth under control. My regal tang also eat pellet food as well when I feed my other fish, which adds to a balanced diet. Regal tangs are reef safe. Now, this is why you should and should not keep regal tangs. Why you should consists of these reasons. Number one, they're active swimmers. The non-stop swimming activity makes your aquarium come to life. Number two, algae control. These guys do an incredible job keeping algae under control. They're constantly pecking away at your rock work. Three, the colors and markings on the regal tank are as if an artist painted them. Number four, 
they're docile. Regal tangs are not very aggressive to other tangs, but their larger size does take out corals. They bump and break colonies easily. And here are my reasons why you should not keep a regal tang. Number one, they get huge. Think of it like this. If you have a three foot tank, this fish will only have two foot of room to swim. My 180 gallon is six foot long. That means this fish, when fully grown, will only have five foot to swim before it has to turn around. Myself, I believe my tank is not large enough to keep them. However, our regal tang is a juvenile. My thinking is when it gets large, I would just trade it in at my LFS for a new juvenile. So there was a quick rundown on the regal tang. If you're thinking of getting one, I've given you some tips on doing so. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like. If there's a topic you would like to see in a future video, whether it be fish, coral, or equipment related, leave a comment below. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.